when you're thinking ahead about your late season honey, you have to have good food sources. If you have ground of your own, for instance, you have to have food plots. You have to leave standing crops. When it's super cold and snow on the ground, standing soybeans is the best there is. Standing corn would be next. And you have to leave that stuff and you have to strategically have it in certain locations that work great for late season. You got a front coming in, deer are gonna be up on their feet feeding before that storm comes in. They'll hunker down for 24 hours while that storm's going on. They won't be feeding, they'll just lay up and use their body fat to survive. Whenever that front pulls out, they're back on their feet again, pounding that food source. Right before the front coming in or right after, it's usually the most active deer movement and that increases your chances of uh, having an opportunity on a good buck. But remember, if you set up on some type of really hot food that all these bucks are eating on, you set up over the top of it, you're probably only gonna get one shot to hunt that buck. Otherwise, you're gonna blow everything out of the field and they're gonna be on to you. So you might be better off getting more hunts in, hunting some type of travel corridor going to and from that food source in late season. Oh, yeah, there he is, that's him. There's no better time when that deer is needing to feed, he either has to eat or die just due to starvation. He's got to put that weight back on. He's got to get out there to that food source with those brutal cold temperatures in the winter ahead. We're planning on leaving some standing corn and beans right out here in the middle of the field. Hopefully, Joel and I can pull some late season magic again this year. It's 100 degrees out here today, but we've got pinpointed where we want to leave about an acre of beans, an acre of corn. Plant has come in from the back side across the wide open fields, and uh, there's enough contour out here that they won't be able to see us, but they'll come up out of the creek bottoms, out to the standing, standing crop, especially if we get a little snow and some cold temperatures late. Stick a fork in them, they're done.